So the invitation in my words this morning have a lot to do with how are you participating in your life? What are the gifts you're bringing into your life? And do you know you've got them? And do you want to offer them? And what is um, stopping you? Anybody have a, a gift of kindness to give? A gift of compassion that you don't find yourself offering, but you know it's yours to give? And when you give it, you feel so like I'm alive. When you offer compassion, or you offer kindness to a person, do you not feel more yourself and more alive, more connected, more blessed yourself, not just for the blessing you offered the person? Does anybody here have a gift of teaching they haven't given yet? A lot of heads nodding. How do we do that? How do we find ourselves offering the gift of what we know if we don't start giving it in the, with the people who have come to the river to pray with us? There is something that happens, I find, when I offer my compassion and my kindness. You know, often, we think of compassion and kindness as being sympathy. I'd like to offer a different view on those things. Compassion and kindness has to do with really honoring the fact that there's a story that a person has that they don't need to tell you, but you can be loving about the fact that they have a story and support them. It's, another word might be empathy. Some people think of being empathic as you're feeling everything, but there's also empathy of knowing that a person is feeling something and you're gonna stand in your kindness and blessing and know that they're feeling it and assist them. Not to make them feel it's okay to feel what they're feeling. That's not even the point. It's, I know you're feeling something, how can I love you now with that happening for you? So when you are offering that kind of empathy where you're paying attention to what's going on so that a person might actually hear you because you know what's going on for them and you care about them, you have some compassion for what's going on for them. Some, what, what increases greatly is vision. You find the right words, the right thing to say, and the right language to use. At times, if you haven't had this experience, I, I would be surprised. At times you find you're saying something you had no intention of saying and it changed somebody's life. And they come back to you and say, when you said that, and you think, I never said that. I never remember saying that. But you were paying attention to them, and even if you never said those words, they got that message and it changed their life. When you said to me I was good enough, you might never have said that. You may have just loved them and they felt good enough and that's what they heard in the exchange. So as we participate, as we bring our gift, we have greater vision, greater possibility for bringing back balance. I say that we have the power to do that every day and we don't have to wait for a crisis for that to happen, but to find our tribe, go down to the river and pray to find each other so that we might be doing something wonderful together as a people, as a family, as members of one body that are all nourished, fed, those are the same thing, I guess, nourished and, and um, supported by the river of life.